Well, hello, everyone who is tuning in to listen to this. Thank you so much for helping your consultant out. My name is Dawn Atten Sweeney. I'm a national sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics, and I really appreciate your willingness to listen, to learn, whether this is for yourself personally or solely to help um, the woman out who asks you. So um, what um, this is part of a recruiting series. So on my YouTube channel, which you can just look up by my name, um, there's lots of other marketing resources. So in a short time frame, I can't cover everything um, from a 37 year perspective in Mary Kay from my personal experiences and actually the company's 60 year um, history. Um, so on this um, little segment, what I would like to share with you are the most um, common reasons that um, we hear that women start Mary Kay businesses. And then what I wanna spend the most time in is sharing with you um, answers to the questions they most commonly have or concerns they most commonly have. And so let's just start off quickly with the re reasons most you know, women start this. Money, let's be honest. In this economy, most everyone could use extra money because inflation is impacting everyone. So some for a little bit of money, some for a lot of money. Um, when you're making 50% profit on the sale of the products, you have no quotas. You can sell as much or as little as you want to, but 50%, what that could look like is six women trying the product virtually or in person. You average about $50 a face, um, and that's someone who's um, learning how to cleanse, exfoliate, tone, moisture balance, and protect. At $50 a face with six people, it's about $300, $150 in profit. Um, they're washing it down the drain every night. And with a consumable product, with the number one brand loyalty in the cosmetic industry, you have a sustainable business there. So that is what the money piece with selling the product can look like. Some people start for a free car. They want no car payment, unlimited miles, um, insurance at 87% for them and their spouse. That's a gigantic savings, no car payment. And it's not just the top levels. There's a Malibu you can earn while you're going to college, while you're working another job, raising a family or all three. There's an Equinox, there's the iconic pink Cadillac, and as a national, I've had the privilege of driving a pink Escalade for the last um, almost 20 years, but I haven't had a car payment in over 33 years because of Mary Kay. Um, some are starting this for a plan B in case plan A doesn't turn out how they thought it would, um, and that's a lot of people in the economy right now. Some women are, uh, start this business for the values. I was attracted to the values of God first, family second, and career third. But to be honest, I had never seen that melded with business. And so that was intriguing to me. I'm so grateful because having women mentor me that actually prioritize their life like that has changed not only who I am as a business person, but definitely as a woman, a mom, a wife, the whole package. Um, some people start for the flexibility, being able to work it around whatever season of life they may find themselves at um, recognition. Mary Kay recognition comes in words of encouragement, rounds of applause, four carat diamond rings, walks cross stage in Dallas at seminar, um, all expense paid trips around the world, quarterly prizes that could be anything from designer jewelry to luggage to um, furniture to China. Um, the recognition part of Mary Kay is very fun. And Mary Kay wanted to give women the Cinderella prizes that they may not be buying for themselves. Um, and then community, um, that's a huge thing now, especially since the pandemic, we're seeing statistics of women, people being more isolated, being more depressed, more lonely. The community of having women that are encouraging each other to be their best version of themselves. So you're never competing with each other, you're encouraging each other to your next best steps, creates a really um, healthy, um, holistic, and um, encouraging, edifying, refilling, refueling community um, for those who take part in it and plug into it. I look at it as, it's kind of like, free therapy, free girlfriend time, free, um, like the events that we go to are, um, I look back and this has in all my seasons from single to married with kids, 
um, this business has not only been a business, but it's also been my social life, but a very healthy social life, you know, that the women are encouraging each other to constantly sharpen each other and, and be better and also there for each other going through the ups and downs of life. Okay, so let's talk about um, the most common concerns and questions. Um, I uh, covered no quotas, but people often ask that, what do I have to do? Um, the only thing the company asks you to do when you become a consultant, which is either a $30 or a $130 decision, um, is to order one two twenty five dollars wholesale order a year. That allows you to get your products at cost from the company. And you're basically, that would be like a personal use consultant. Although if you're truly using Mary Kay, you're probably doing that about once a quarter. But there are no quotas. So you can do that little or you could you know, sell as much as you want. There's no, there's no limitations on either side. Um, do I have to have inventory? That's the second thing I hear. No, you don't have to have inventory in Mary Kay, but we do get to. In most direct selling companies, you never get to. You're always an order taker. And Mary Kay Ash started this business specifically so that you could be a business owner. And business owners make more money because they have to spend less time. They can do an appointment, they give the product, they take the money, the transaction's done. Versus having to, you know, ship every order off, you pay shipping or your customers pay more shipping, um, not being able to give people on the spot delivery, which with cosmetics is important because women generally don't plan ahead to run out of their cleanser or mascara. So we don't have to, but we get to. But also, also, you're not at financial risk to have products on hand. Mary Kay has a 90% buyback policy, which we started. I'm not sure if any other companies have that, which means that any product you've bought in the last 12 months that you don't sell and you'd like to um, return to Mary Kay Inc. because you're stopping your Mary Kay business, they would repurchase from you at 90% of what you paid for it. So you're taking a 10% risk and making a 50% profit. Plus new consultants in their first four months can get thousands and thousands of dollars of free products from the company, which more than offsets any risk. So I look at it this way. Mary Kay, the company is willing to invest in you 90%. No colleges are. You're not, I mean, you have to pay back the student loans or someone does. I mean, taxpayers or the or the people, one or the other, have to pay it back. A house, if the economy tanks, you lose your job, you, they're not buying it back from you at 90%. Um, you know, cars, you drive them off the lot, it's a devaluing asset. I mean, think of the things that we invest in that is not a 90% guarantee. I know no business anywhere, generally the more you invest, the more you're risking. And Mary Kay knew that most women weren't big risk takers. So I think it's pretty, uh, pretty incredible that a family-owned, debt-free, um, Fortune 500-sized, uh, multinational in over 40 countries company without a credit check will back you at 90% in your own business. With business coaches, your director and national who have already built a Mary Kay business teaching you how. Um, Let's go down to then the next thing. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how do I get my customers? How do I, I don't even know how to wear makeup. How, I don't know how to do a Zoom. I don't know how to do, you know, Facebook. I'm not a techno girl. I, I don't know very many people, like all, all the reasons there of I don't know blank. Um, and you're right, you don't know because you haven't been taught. And we don't want you to go out there not knowing. So believe me, you are going to be taught every single thing, what to say, what to wear, you know, the whole thing. After 60 years, this is very much like a franchise. So if you started a Chick-fil-A franchise, they're going to tell you where you're getting your chicken, where you're getting your waffle fries, where you're getting your oil, how you hire your employees, how your employees dress, how, what are the dialogues for your employees that are greeting in the dining room, are standing out, you know, taking the to-go orders. Every single thing is taught to you, exactly the same as Mary Kay. That's one of the reasons that after 60 years, we are not just surviving, we are thriving because this is duplicatable. There's a system that has worked 
And even though now we get to do hybrids between in-person and virtual, we still do the same thing that we've always done. We teach women um, how to take care of their skin and help them being a personal beauty consultant to them match up with their needs and continue to service them as long as they'll let us. And as far as opportunity, if the opportunity can serve you in any way, then we're going to teach you how to build a business and meet your needs through the opportunity. Um, so you're going to be taught and you're only taught by people who know how to do it and have done it. They're not teaching you from theory. I came into this with the University of Michigan business degree. And they said, great, you're getting your starter kit and we're teaching you how to build a customer base and how to build a team. I started my business the same way everyone else did. It did not matter I had a degree. It did not matter where I went to school. It didn't matter who I knew. It didn't matter the color of my skin. It didn't matter my age. I had to be at least 18, but there's no age discrimination in Mary Kay um, after 18. And then we have young girls that are under 18 that their moms become consultants and the young girls, the daughters are learning the skills of the business um, by helping their moms out. And that I've loved having my daughter alongside me doing Mary Kay makeovers and watching. She did end up wanting to be in Mary Kay when she was in college, but when she was younger, she did not. Um, but she learned how to run a business. She learned customer service and she learned the value that if you are willing to work hard enough at something, you can make money and you can reach your goals. And so, you know, that is something that is so valuable because with my children's ages in their now early 30s, there's a lot of people that think that they're going to get something for nothing. And that is just not how life works. And so I was lo I love that my kids got to see me build this hands-on versus um, my dad was very successful in business, but he provided things for our family, but I didn't go to work with him. I didn't see the things he did. Only now later in life am I hearing the stories and value it. But I love that Mary Kay, this really is a family business because you're doing it with your family around you. Um, how much can I make? I, I covered some of that with the 50% profit um, on selling the products, but you earn money team building um, from the very beginning, four to 13%. It's not multi-level. Um, you order products from the company for a dollar, sell them for $2. And then if you have women on your team, Mary Kay Inc. pays you to the four to 13% on whatever they're ordering every month. It's all computerized. It's deposited into your account every month. As a sales director, when you're teaching, it can go up to 26%. You know, we have um, sales directors that work 10 or 20 hours a week. We have sales directors that work 40 hours a week. You know, you can make 25, 35, 40,000 as a director, you can make as a Cadillac director, probably making a six figure income at that point in time. You can have offspring directors as a national, you can make 250, 350. Our top nationals are making over a million dollars a year. So you get to decide that though, it's not decided for you. It's not decided by your position. There's directors, there's consultants, there's nationals that make all different amounts of money because it depends how they want to work the business at that level. Um, how about this one? Um, I'm not the right personality. That usually voices itself as I'm not the salesperson type. You know, I don't want to be pushy. Um, I'm shy. And so what I wanna share with you is, I don't want you to be pushy. <laughs> I was shy. I'm not shy any longer because of 37 years of Mary Kay teaching me how to focus on other women and meeting their needs versus worrying about what people were thinking about me. Um, so this business was worth, you know, a lifetime of counseling and coaching that I would have paid for or getting degrees trying to figure my life out. And instead I've paid, been paid to figure this out. I'm still an introvert, but you're gonna be taught how to um, give women options. You know, there's a huge difference between being pushy and professional. I'm glad that someone asked me if I would try this product and give her her opinion because this product has helped keep me out of a dermatologist's office for years. 
And I'm grateful that someone told me about the Mary Kay opportunity and the whole big Mary Kay opportunity, like being a national sales director. That's one of the videos on my YouTube under the marketing resources. Check that out to hear the benefits that we have as nationals and what Mary Kay created for women. Um, but I'm glad someone told me the whole big story so that I could decide because I was working 80 hours a week. I didn't need a hobby. And, you know, but I did need to get out of credit card debt. And I did need hope that there was a different way to live and work. Um, how about it's not the right time or I don't have time? That one, I just did a whole segment on that you can check out. And I had three of my directors, one talking about doing this in college, one with a full-time job and an extra job, and one going through a crisis in life um, while she was building her business. And so check that out. But I will tell you in my 37 years, if there's something about this business that can serve you well, then I've not found a woman who can't figure out how to make it work in and through her life. I mean, we're gonna teach you how to do that, but little pockets here and there, you're with people that have skin, whether it's at home, on a computer screen, on Facebook, in work, they all have skin. We're gonna, and they're washing it, hopefully with something. We're gonna teach you how to, um, work this in and around your life to meet the goals that you have. But I will tell you, I, one thing that makes me crazy is I don't have the money. I need money right now, my income, but I'm not willing to invest the time or learn how to use my time differently. If we don't choose, I had to learn how to use my time differently because I was working 80 hours a week and already had credit card debt. And there was more month than money. That was just going to get worse as time went on in my life. I realized that if I didn't use my time differently moving forward, things weren't going to get better on their own. They were only going to get worse. So the time, if you want more information about that, go on to my um, YouTube and check that out. Time management, Mary Kay way. Um, also not the right time too. That answers all those concerns. Um, how about you've been in other drug sales before and it hasn't worked? You know what? I don't know what other drug sales companies you've been in, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, that you've been in other drug sales companies tells me that you're, you like being an entre entrepreneur or you want to be an entrepreneur. Um, it tells me that you're, you know, you're willing to think outside the box, do something different to get something different. And if it didn't work out, it's kind of like saying, you know what? I went to this one restaurant and it really wasn't good. So I'm never going to any restaurants ever again. There's a huge difference <laughs> between this restaurant and this restaurant. And so I guess what I would tell you is that if, again, you know, there's something about this that appeals to you, give it a shot because there is no other company that trains like Mary Kay. I, after 37 years, I have had people try to recruit me in every single company in the planet. And I will tell you the one thing for sure they never had is Mary Kay Ash the person who makes this different because she personally started this to give women what she hadn't had. Instead of retiring, she started this company for you and me. Instead of when her husband at that time died of a massive heart attack a week before she opened the company and her accountant attorney said, you're gonna be broke and you're gonna have no retirement. You have to work the rest of your life if this doesn't work. She did it. Anyways, because she wanted to give women what she didn't have. And she believed so strongly that she had put a plan together to give women an opportunity to be paid what they're worth around the priorities of God first, family second, and career third. I'm so grateful that she did. That no other company has. No other company has. Um, but also, uh, secondly, it is, um, you know, the training that you get in this. There's not anyone I've met in 37 years that can't be successful in Mary Kay. The only thing that holds you back is your willingness and your coachability. If you are willing to learn and you're willing to work and you are coachable, I've never met anyone that has those three qualities that cannot be successful. Um, okay, last three things. After people hear this, and they've you know, decided, okay, these are the reasons I try it. 
these are the things, you know, that hopefully I answered for you and feel free to talk to your consultant or director more about them if you'd like to dig into any of those more. But these are the last three things that either it's a yes, yeah, I, let, let me get that consultant number, let's give it a shot, because the only thing that disperses fear is information, it's knowledge, it's training. So we need to get, you know, as soon as you get your consultant number, you have access to um, all the training that Mary Kay has and that we have. So you literally can start to make a decision based on facts versus fiction. Fiction are the answers you come up with in your head or someone else tells you that's never successfully built a Mary Kay business. You know, uh, wisdom um, is found in people who really know what they're talking about, not just giving you their opinion. And I'm very grateful that I listened to wise women in Mary Kay and not my family and friends that loved me a lot, but honestly, their advice was really poor. Looking at it in retrospect, they had no idea. The fact of the matter is they would never have done it and that's fine. I wasn't asking them to do it. I was asking their opinion of me doing it and it was kind of a mistake, <laughs> um, but I listened to it and I did it anyways um, because honestly, part of me said, I'm gonna prove it to them because there was something about this that I knew um, I'd, I'd regret. I'd miss out on if I didn't uh, try it. And now I look back and went, wow, I thought it was the hundred dollars to get my starter kit. And gosh, the last 37 years, it was a lot more than a hundred dollars I was missing out on. Um, but going home and thinking about it, you know, thinking about this for more than 24 hours, you go to Target and you spend 130 bucks and it doesn't take you 24 hours to decide that. You throw it in the cart and you walk out and you're just like, I didn't even get what I came there for. Like, seriously, I see women think more about starting a Mary, like starting a Mary Kay business means you get a consultant number, you can order your products at cost, it allows us to start training you, and you can see how it goes. That's all that it means, because I've told you about the no quotas, the buyback, et cetera, et cetera. So what do you have to lose? And so my question to you is, what are you thinking about? And that question I want you to get answered from your consultant, or if she's brand new from your from the director, because I think I may have already answered the things that you'd be thinking about. But I guarantee you anything that you think about is going to be handled in training. Absolutely. And so if you know you want to share with the person who shared this with you, or again, her director, if she's newer and would like you to um, talk to her because it's part of her training to learn how to answer these questions. But what are you thinking about? Like, what are the questions you have? Let us answer those so you can make a decision based on fact versus fiction. What about you need to talk to your husband about it? Totally respect that. I've been married for 37 years, so I get it. But I want to know what would he need to know? You know, if he's a guy that's going to support you with whatever you do, get your consultant number, share with him, you know, how this is going to work. And then, you know, any questions that he has in addition to that, again, your um, recruiter or your director are going to be able to answer those. Um, if he's not supportive of you and other things, then that's going to be more challenging. And so you're going to have to decide how you want to um, handle that situation. But if he's, you know, supportive of you, you know, I've heard it joked about, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. And you know, I, I'm not suggesting that anyone be deceitful or undermining, but sometimes I think women are saying, you know, I need to talk to my husband or think about it. And really it's, you haven't had your questions and concerns answered and that's an easy default. And I don't want you to go into an easy default because I believe this information crosses women's paths for a reason and for a time. And when you can look at things in retrospect and go, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I start my Mary Kay business because my husband, you know, nine months down the line loses his job. Aren't you glad you started nine months ago versus then in a crisis situation? Or I need money for this, or I just lost a job or aging parents' health changes or kids' situations change. I just believe in um, timing. And if this is crossing your path, maybe it's right now that you need your foot in the door. So down the line, when you really need it, you're up and running or you know what's available to you. Um, and last but not least, you know, I need to pray about it. I look back and I know I had been praying for something. Um, I had just had no idea that the answer was going to come in the form of a woman asking to be a 
a Mary Kay face model for her portfolio she was building. I didn't know that's how Aunt Mary or God would answer that prayer, nor did I think it would come in the form of a starter kit and a Mary Kay opportunity. So I do know that God answers prayers and but his ways are very different than our ways and so if you are a believer and you're saying you need to pray about it I want to ask you have you already been praying for something and I, I want to encourage you to be open-minded enough to um, recognize that maybe he's answering that prayer in a different form than you thought you guys thank you for listening I hope this was helpful um, if you do become a Mary Kay consultant and join our team I look forward to mentoring and coaching you if not you know, thank you for being a hostess. Thank you for being a customer. And thank you for being a talent scout. We just need to get the word out because there's a lot of women that need to hear this.